Bienvenidos a EP Daily. Hoy en el show, el atractivo elenco de Spring Breakers nos invita a unas vacaciones peligrosas. It's magical, you know, it's dreamlike and dangerous and so enticing. Now let me guess, Spring Breakers? Los creadores de Mortal Kombat nos traen injusticia, dioses entre nosotros. It's not like the last Mortal Kombat game, it's not like a Street Fighter game, it's its own fighting game. Habitación 237 explora el misterio del clásico filme de suspenso El Resplandor. We wanted to all see the audience to watch the shining through the eyes of these five very different people who all see it very different ways. Una revolución comienza en el sonar. Además, disectamos la comedia Admisión en un nuevo comentario a la carrera. Esto y mucho más hoy en EP Daily. Hola, soy su anfitriona Daniela Carmona con lo último en Cool cada día de la semana. Comenzamos con las noticias de hoy en el sumario. A la protagonista de Bridesmaids, Kristen Wiig, debe gustarle trabajar con un tipo con clase como Will Ferrell. El par se encuentra filmando Anchorman. La leyenda continúa. Y ahora, la revista Hollywood Reporter asegura que Wig se encuentra en conversaciones para protagonizar otra película junto a su ex compañero en Saturday Night Live. I'm not even mad. That's amazing. Se trata de la comedia independiente Welcome to Me, en la que Wig encarnará a una mujer con múltiples personalidades que gana la lotería. El director de Anchorman, Adam McKay, está produciendo el filme. Sight, my man. Un nuevo capítulo con la leyenda de Ron Burgundy llegará a los cines este diciembre. En el intertanto, Kristen Wiig unirá fuerzas con otro de los reporteros de Anchorman, Steve Carell, en la aventura animada Gru, mi villano favorito 2, a estrenarse el 3 de julio. Prepárense para más acción del tipo silencioso, pues la marca del Ninja Edición Especial se aproxima. No se trata de otra entrega del juego que revolucionó el Xbox Live y Steam, sino un nuevo lote de contenido descargable. Los participantes recibirán una misión que precede a los eventos de la marca del ninja y tendrán acceso a novedosas técnicas de combate, armamento e incluso comentarios de los creadores de Clay Entertainment. La marca del ninja edición especial llegará este verano, aunque un anticipo estará disponible este fin de semana en la feria especializada PAX East. Las primeras imágenes de Veronica Mars, la película, estarán disponibles más pronto de lo esperado. El creador del personaje, Rob Thomas, espera mostrar algunas secuencias del filme en la próxima Comic Con de San Diego a llevarse a cabo en julio. El filme basado en la serie de culto está siendo financiado por fans a través de Kickstarter, quienes se lanzaron a la oportunidad de resucitar a su detectiva favorita. Sure, they were idiots, but they were my idiots. Otras revelaciones que se esperan en la Comic Con incluyen las primeras imágenes de la nueva película de los X-Men, así como de la serie de TV, S.H.I.E.L.D., producida por Marvel Comics bajo la supervisión de Joss Whedon. La Comic Con de San Diego tendrá lugar entre el 18 y el 21 de julio. Como corresponde, E.P. Daily estará allí recolectando las últimas novedades de lo que a ti te interesa. Estas fueron las noticias de hoy aquí en EP Daily. Aquí estoy con mi compañero Jorge Amigo. Hola Daniela, qué gusto estar aquí. Debo confesar que estoy muy interesado en los estrenos de cine de este fin de semana, particularmente ex chicas Disney explorando su lado oscuro. Ah, seguro que te refieres a Spring Breakers con Selena Gómez y sus amigas cometiendo crímenes en minúsculos trajes de baño. ¿Y a quién no le gusta la idea? Nuestra Miri Jerekin conversó recientemente con las protagonistas del filme, aunque no en traje de baño. It's more than just spring break. We're getting out of here. It's our chance to see something different. You guys are all very tight-knit. You're a very close group of girlfriends, but you're all unique and you have your own characteristics that you bring to the table. So what are those unique characteristics and, and where do you guys find the common ground to stay close? Our characters, I like um, um, yeah, I feel like they're one person. Um, they're more tough and they're fearless and they're badasses and I think that that's what drives the other girls to kind of keep up with them and they're always messing with Faith and Cotty is almost as tough but yeah. she's a little bit more reserved with certain things but we'll do whatever and we'll get whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our childhood friends, you know, they grew up together in a very small town just yearning for a different change of pace and um, <laughs> they find it with spring break. I'm about making money. There's a lot of almost subconscious stuff that happens. What went into that for you guys as actors? How did you stretch yourselves and how did Harmony help you 
kind of wrap your heads around the character and the story and still tell the story in a way that was so visual and so unique. I think that nobody could have pieced it together the way that Harmony <laughs> yeah. does. I mean, just seeing it all put together, it's magical, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like dreamlike and dangerous and so enticing. Now let me guess. Spring breakers? Somebody goes young. He sent me this video of just girls dancing in their room to rap music. <laughs> yeah. There was four girls. He's like, that's you. So he wanted us to just learn from real people. He never wanted it to seem fake or staged, and that's why it was so important for us to be so close, is because you can tell on screen that it's all natural and it feels very real. It was important that the girls also had that aspect of youthfulness too, yes. like with the yeah. cartoons and the playing around and doing cartwheels in the hallway. I think when there's a turning point, it makes it that much more dramatic. Why are you here? Come on, y'all. Why act suspicious? Gracias, Miri. Spring Breakers ciertamente promete. Hablemos ahora de video games. Hay un nuevo juego del tipo Todos Contra Todos con los superhéroes de DC Comics como protagonistas. Se trata de Injusticia, Dioses Entre Nosotros, y José Sánchez tuvo la ocasión de conversar con los creadores. Now that's what I call an entry. We are talking about Injustice. Tell me about this DC style fighting game. Um, it's a fighting game from the Crazy Mortal Kombat, but we're trying to do something totally different in the fighting game genre. The game's going to be a lot more based on the backgrounds and where you are in the background as opposed to just normal one-on-one -on -one fighting. You want that to play in your strategy to the fight. A lot of times you're back in a corner and that's sort of how the backgrounds play in fighting games. We wanted that to happen anywhere in the level. So even in the middle of the corner, there might be something that the opponent can use, but then the other player knows that, so he's going to use that to his advantage also. Why is the DC Universe the perfect universe to play in this battlefield? The characters are so different in their powers, and we wanted to make sure that we made all the characters be able to still fight against each other. So we got somebody like the Flash fight against somebody like Batman, but then somebody like Harley Quinn can use her weapons to still be able to go up against them. One of the coolest things about the game is the actual look of the characters. They have these redesigned, crazy costumes. Tell us yeah. a little bit about that. We wanted to make sure that our characters look pretty much unique, but we wanted to follow the DC New 52 look, but put our own take on it. You're about to become a pin cushion. And being that we have seen a Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe game, what's going to separate this from the people that have played that game? This gameplay's engine is completely different from anything out there. It's not like the last Mortal Kombat game. It's not like a Street Fighter game. It's its own fighting game. Yeah! When the game starts up, you're ready to take on all comers. Who do you go with? Right now, Flash. Catch me if you can. He's faster. Now, he was the last character I worked on, so it's <laughs> easiest for me. But um, we're trying to make the war. It's going to be like Mortal Kombat, where everybody's going to be viable to use. Go Superman or go home. That's just how I roll. Injustice, God's among us. Can't wait. Gracias, José. Injusticia, Dioses entre nosotros, llegará a las tiendas el próximo mes. Mientras tanto, una nueva comedia protagonizada por Paul Rudd y Tina Fey ha aterrizado en los cines. Se trata de Admisión. Es hora para otro comentario a la carrera con Mary y Ben. I am an admissions officer. It's what I'm good at. Admission stars Tina Fey as a Princeton University admissions officer whose job is to decide the fates of the youth of America and the world, really, <laughs> by will they or will they not get into this prestigious university, thus setting themselves up for the most remarkable lives possible where they get to change the world. That's Princeton, folks. I didn't go there. Not a big deal if you don't. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Today, we begin choosing the most remarkable freshman class in Princeton history. This film is about this very organized, very scholarly person, an intellectual who has always valued order over impulse and emotion, but her life gets turned upside down when she finds out that the child she gave up for an adoption 18 years earlier may or may not be applying to Princeton and is it finally time for her to kind of own up to her mothering instincts and will she help this child get in, thus saving the day? Plus, will she fall in love with Paul Rudd in the movie? All these stories and more. Admission. But I had that on a t-shirt, actually. This is not a straight up and down comedy. This is a total genre bender. This is a romantic comedy. It's a coming of age story. There's so many different elements to it that it's really not a comedy. I mean, it is, but it's not a straight up and down comedy. I think Tita Fey and Paul Rudd do the best they can with the material. And I don't think the material is bad, per se. I just think it's a little bit of a mishmash. I think it's a bit confused. I think it doesn't know what it wants to be. And there are leaps that it takes in the comedy and the plot points that are just so ridiculous. You may have built schools in third world countries and cleaned contaminated water from villages, but you have never tried to get a kid into Princeton. 
I just think there's not a lot here to enjoy. It's very flat, predictable, simple. Well, it's a disaster. So I hear. What are you going to give admission? I'm going to give admission a 4.5. I'll give it a 5. Eso es todo por hoy aquí en EP Daily. Pueden encontrar mucho más contenido en nuestro sitio web epdaily.tv. Visítenos. Gracias por acompañarnos. Hasta luego.